Greetings and welcome back to another Release Notes video. My name's Aaron Craig and there's not a whole lot to cover here besides a few interesting things to point out. So first off, they are adding a single sign-on using Opera. Opera bought the Game Maker, and so it just makes sense that they're going to continue to integrate themselves into it. In my opinion, again, this is not a bad thing. Opera is a big company. It's got a lot of weight behind it, a lot of money, and they really seem to want Game Maker to succeed. And if they want you to be able to sign in with Opera, sure, go ahead. That's <laughs> okay. I personally don't use Opera. I'm probably going to give it a try just because uh, it's. I think it's worth checking out. I competition in any sense is usually a good thing and other browsers competing with chrome firefox safari it just makes them all work better so uh i'll check out opera and i'll do a video on that later but you can now sign on with that they have added support for nullish operators in your code. This one's probably a little more interesting, although uh, it doesn't do much because it doesn't really add new functionality. It just allows you to shortcut some more complex or convoluted if statements. So I'll show you how that works in just a little bit. They've added some filter layer types you can use in your room. I haven't talked much about the layer, the filters that I have in here, but they're really cool. And then you also have the inspector for your room which isn't quite ready yet i think they should have kept that in there a little bit longer playing around with it i found a few unexpected things that it was doing but it's cool they put it in there because the inspector in the sequences is super useful uh then there's also just a lot of bug fixes and a few other things as well so they've got uh redefinable keys for changing for working up in the workspace which is pretty nice so now you can redefine what all of those shortcut keys do you can customize them yourself then they've got a lot of changes down here uh, one of the nice things is if you've got a large projects thumbnail images are now loading asynchronously all that means is your project will load and you can start doing stuff and instead of waiting for all of the thumbnail images which could potentially take a while in a big project and then you can see they've got a ton of bug fixes. But let's jump into the two interesting things inside of here, which are the Nullish Operator and the Room Inspector. So first off, let's talk about what a null is. In Game Maker, null is essentially undefined. Now, in other programming languages, this is not the case, whereas something like in C Sharp, null is legitimately an empty value. It isn't a value. It is the lack of a value. In Game Maker, undefined is actually the value of negative four. And that is a specific number. And that means that if you use undefined, it is not null because null is the lack of a value. So that's why they call it null-ish. And what we're doing right here is I'm just randomizing my code because I'm using a random function here. That way we can see different values each time. I'm setting a variable called a equal to undefined. And this right here is the new nullish operator. It allows you to, with two question marks, to basically say, hey, if this first value is undefined, then go ahead and run this second part. It's a quick way of just saying, hey, I don't want this value to be undefined. So if possible, if it is, go ahead and do this. This can be a function. It can be a different value. It can be a different variable, whatever you want inside of here. So if a is undefined, which it is right now, if we run this, we'll actually see that it comes up with a number instead. So that was one run. If I run it again, we'll see it has another number. So different values each time. And it won't do that if we come in here and give it any other value. Now my value will actually equal a instead of running this right here. And that's all it's doing. Another way of doing this right here is essentially saying if a is equal to undefined, then you can come down here and say a equals random or a equals high. I don't know. Whatever you want to do in here. The idea is the same that you can take this whole chunk and you can put it down to one line of code. So if you can understand what this means and exactly what it works like, and you can just read it and understand it, it can save you a lot of time. And it can also save Game Maker a lot of processing power and cycles. This is something that could potentially come in when you're near the end of your game and you're optimizing. This could be pretty useful. So keep that in mind. It's not perfect. Uh, it doesn't really do anything new, 
but it does make your life easier and it gives you another tool and it makes Game Maker, I think, a lot better because this is something that has been in other languages for a long time and it's great that they're putting it in here. The other new thing is the room inspector. So if we go over to room, I've already got the inspector open, but if you don't see it, you can go to windows and inspector and it will show up and apparently you can have more than one, which I guess makes sense. I really don't want more than one, so I'm gonna close that. Now, the inspector over here basically just has everything that you would need to inspect objects in your room. So I'm in my room, I select this object, I can now move it around. Now, something that they don't have in this section right here is the alignment icons, which is kind of cool. So you can actually align uh, your objects based in where they're at in the room. That's kind of cool. You can open up the editor for your objects directly from there. You can also change the object that it is here you can edit the object here. You can make a new object. Uh, when I click on this, it creates a new object here. And then in my room, it replaces it. But the thing is, it still says object one, even though it is object two. And that's just kind of one of the ways that the, the inspector, I think, acts in a way that is unusual. And uh, I get it because the actual name over here, you can rename and it's not as important. And it's what it's doing is it's replacing this object with object two. And that's what the inspector can do inside of sequences and other things as well. But I think it's just uh, confusing if you don't know exactly what it's doing. So yeah, that's what I would say there. Uh, you've got things for position, scale, you can change the color, rotation, you can flip it, you can change the frame, the image speed, and you can edit the creation code. All of those things we could already do simply by double clicking on an object. But now we have those things over here in the inspector. Now we still can't edit the variables in the inspector. So that's something that it is still lacking. They did say specifically that it is still being worked on and will be added to. And you can inspect more than one thing at a time and change what you're looking at. So overall, it's another tool you can use. I think it's fine. It's useful. Uh, I don't know if I'll be using it in the room directly, but hey, I'll give it a try and we'll see what happens. And that's really all there is worth talking about in this video. You've got the Nullish Coalescence Operator and the Room Inspector. And if you wanna read more, check out the release notes yourself. It's always good to do the reading yourself if you really wanna know what's going on. But what are you excited for in this update? Anything stand out that you're gonna use? Let me know in the comments below. If there's any new features that you're excited about, let me know because I would love to hear about it. And it's always fun to hear what people want from Game Maker and what they're working on you can also check out. So that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me. Keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later.